Okay, so these trailers are gonna have a, a, a ramp door. Um, there's certain manufacturers out there uh, that uh, over the years had ramps that slid underneath and they just had a door and you had to pull that ramp out and put it up there. Uh, that works good too. Uh, the other ones were a little bit different. This is a, a, a spring assist. So you gotta be careful when you're opening these. Um, if you can imagine, obviously these doors are, you know, fairly heavy. Um, if you don't have that spring there um, or your hand up here, you gotta make sure that, you know, you're not just letting this go because it's gonna hit you in the head. You just gotta be, you gotta use a little bit of common sense. But when it gets to this point right here, that spring assist right there, it's really, really easy to lift really easy to close. It's one of those things where we've, we've tested this a lot on different uh, uh, heavy springs and adjusted the angles and things like that so we don't have to use two of them, okay? Because that one gets in the way. Um, so uh, my guys have really narrowed this down to where one spring uh, really takes care of this, really takes care of this door. Um, you can obviously see the inside of this. There's gonna be shelves that are gonna be built in, uh, again, uh, to me, it doesn't make sense if we're going to do this whole trailer and get it all built for you uh, that there isn't places inside to store all your stuff. Uh, you know, your colors on the shelves and your tools and, and all those things. These shelves have changed in the last, let's say, year. Every time our guys build a new trailer, they're always kind of adjusting and, and seeing what works best. This one is, is no different. We'll take a look at this. Uh, we have a, you know, a big L-shaped shelf here. We like to use six gallon buckets to haul our color in. Those buckets are a little bit taller. So if this shelf was a little bit lower, lower for my guys, those buckets wouldn't work. So what they've done though is taken, I can adjust this shelf. I can move it up, I can slide it down. I can take it out if I want to, okay? Um, now on the next trailer, they might adjust that again and do something a little bit different, um, which we may show you later. Uh, there's, there's other things that we're doing. Um, I've been asked the question, how come this doesn't extend? Well, it just depends. Uh, my trailer, which we'll show you next, we have that all the way extended so we can have a little bit more space. But that area right there is a great, a great place to put your um, concrete sprayer. Because those are kind of tall, three gallon uh, uh, sealer sprayer cans. Uh, they go right in the corner there and it fits great. Um, if you want to pop in here, Ben, I'll, I'll show you. So this, this whole trailer here is it has what we call our water and power package, okay? Uh, and it's, again, the most efficient as possible. You're gonna carry your sand, you're gonna carry your water, and you're gonna carry your Portland on the trailer. Okay, so on the roof here, we have a 100 watt solar panel um, with a solar controller right here. This is gonna tell you uh, your output, uh, you know, how much power you're using. Right now we're at about 92%. Um, it's gonna tell you the input, how much power you're creating from sunlight and so on. And so there's all sorts of things you can adjust on there. Uh, 800 watt inverter, uh, so we can plug in and charge batteries. And obviously we have lights in here. That's another thing. Uh, early in the morning in the summer when you're in here and it's, and it's really dark, you gotta use your cell phone light. Um, that just makes it really simple to have lights in here. Uh, you're gonna have a deep cycle lithium battery in here that's, that's gonna power everything. Uh, your main on and off switch. And if you get down a little bit, Ben, you can see underneath here, so we have a 100 watt, or excuse me, 100 gallon water tank in here um, with a high output RV pump. It's electric RV pump, obviously it's run off the battery. Um, you can see the hose down there, that is plumbed through the frame to the rear, okay? So we don't carry any hose with us. Uh, unlike, you know, in the past where we'd have to carry 200 feet of hose to get to somebody's house and so on. Um, we are using the water that we know is good. Uh, this is city water, uh, it's clean. Uh, it, you know, if you're taking water from a well from a person's house, you can have color issues with your curb. So it's very important to bring your own water. That pump right there is about 70 PSI, which is about as good as any house as far as pressure. Okay, so that goes right through the frame and I'll show you where it comes out in the end. Um, but basically, uh, it's water on demand. All you gotta do is hit the trigger and, and you're ready to go. Um, you can see there's a fill hose from the outside. Um, in the past, we had to drop the door, uh, run our hose inside to fill the tank. Uh, now we can just put the hose right into the outside and that fills that, that water tank and we're ready to go. So every morning, you know, basically when they get back from work in the day, they're, everything is filled in here, the Portland's filled, and you're ready to roll in the morning. So if we wanna just take a look on the outside, you can see that little filler cap. Okay, so you're gonna stick your, you're gonna put your hose right in here. 
and that will, you know, if it starts to overfill, it'll come out right here and, and that'll tell you that obviously your, your tank is full. Um, that water tank, 100 gallons, essentially is gonna take you through a whole day of mixing. Uh, that's the main thing we're concerned about is to have enough water to mix our mixes and make sure our colors are good. Um, if we do have to clean the street or uh, we spill something on the sidewalk, uh, there may not be enough water there. Um, for us and our crew, we always carry another water tank on our actual truck. Um, and we use a transfer pump and we'll just transfer water in there. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're good for the day.